let's see how we can uh, use this technique uh, in uh, the handling of our project. Our project is the implementation of our strategy, which is new market development, new market entering a new market segment. This network analysis uh, is a more uh, sophisticated method than the Gantt chart. The various activities A to G are each shown by an arrow, okay, and they are marked by alphabets A to G, each has an arrow. The arrow begins at a circle, ends at a circle. These circles are events. For instance, arrow A lies between two circles. The first circle is beginning of A and the second circle is the end of A. So these are events. These events are marked by numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. They are marked by numbers. The network is drawn on the basis of the precedence relationships. We have established the precedence relationships in the WBS. Which activity should come first and which activities are linked? That has been established. On that basis, the network is drawn. We may come across situations where um, there is an activity which has no time and no cost but shows precedence. Such an activity activity is called a dummy activity and it's uh, marked by a dotted line okay now let's go to um, the network that we are talking about now our network has uh, these activities from a to g right now event uh, let's look at event 2 event 2 is when activity a is over and activity D and E begin. Now event 5 is where activity E and activity C are over and activity G begins. Okay. The project as a whole begins at event 1. It ends at event 6. Right? Okay. Now what are these numbers uh, next to the alphabets? They are the time durations. A takes three months, B takes five months, D takes one month and so on. Okay? So this is the network. This shows the interrelationship between the, net, between the various activities. Now in analyzing this network, you will see that um, the circle can give a lot of information because uh, apart from the number of the event the circle can also tell us when is the earliest that an activity that the circle can be reached and when is the latest that the circle can be reached for instance uh, the project starts at 1, right? Event 1 is where the project starts, the first uh, circle. Now, B takes 5 uh, months. So, what is the earliest you can reach uh, the second circle? 5. Clear? The earliest you can reach the second circle is 5. Right? Now, this uh, kind of information is put together for all the uh, activities okay and uh, we come up with the completed uh, network now let's look at this completed network very carefully let's start from the first uh, event one and move to the second event two using activity A okay right now the first event is at time 0 which is the blue uh, 0 the blue 0 
is when the activity A starts. At uh, circle 2, you have the blue 3, which shows when activity A ends and when we reach circle 2. Okay? In the same way, B, which takes 5 months, therefore, when do we reach um, circle 3? In 5 months. So, the blue number at circle 3 shows the earliest time when we can reach circle 3, which is 5 months. Right. Now, let's look at uh, circle um, 4. Okay. The earliest we have reached circle 2 is at the end of the third month the blue figure, third month. Now, activity D takes one month. So, which is the earliest, when is the earliest we can reach 4? At 4, which is the blue 4 shown there. So, the earliest we can reach event 4 is at the end of month 4. Right? Okay, now let's come to event 5. To reach event 5, activity E needs to be over. Activity C also needs to be over. Right? Two activities need to be over to reach event 5. Okay? Now, activity E takes 6 months. The earliest you can reach 2 is 3 months, the blue figure. 3 months, the blue figure. Therefore, the earliest you can reach 5 is 3 plus 6, 9. Right? That's the earliest you can reach 5. If you go that way. But if you go this way, then the earliest you can reach 3 is 5. And C takes 2 months. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. Earliest you can reach, if you go this way, is 7. So, the earliest you can reach, if you go the other way, is 9. And the earliest, if you go this way, is 7. Which means, the earliest you can reach 5, that circle 5, the earliest you can reach it is 9. Because, to reach 5, you need both E finished and C finished. Right? Okay? So, the blue figure next to 5 shows that the earliest we can reach 5 is at the end of the ninth month. Okay. Now, let's move on to act the uh, event 6. Let's look at the event... Uh, 4. Uh, when is the earliest you reach 4? The blue figure next to it, 4. You reach event 4 at the end of the 4th month. Now, you complete activity F after that. So, it will take you 3 months. So, at the end of the 7th month, if you go that way, you will reach 6. You will reach the um, event 6. However, if you go this way, right, if you go this way, then the earliest 5 is reached is 9. At the end of the month, 9 is the earliest you reach this point. So, to reach that point 6, because G takes 3 months, so the earliest you can reach 6 is 12 months. So, the earliest you can reach 6 is 12 months. That's because of this particular route. Right? Now, which is the route that determines this? It is the route which is the longest. Now, if you look at these, diff 
you start at one and you end at six. Now, one way of reaching that is that way. Okay? Another way of reaching it is this way. One, two, five, six. And the third way of reaching it is one, three, five, six. So there are three ways of going from one to six. Now you will see that one, two, five, six is the longest path and it takes 12 months to do that. So this longest path is called the critical path. Okay, right. Now, what we have done so far is we have found out that the project, the earliest that the project can be completed is 12 months. That's what we have found out. But there is more that we can find out. Let's start from the end. Okay, this time let's start from the end. That is, we start from 6. Now, if we want to reach 6 by the end of the 12th month, so we put that black 12 there, that, that shows that is the latest we can reach 6 at the end of the 12th month. Then, what is the latest we can reach uh, 4? Now, that activity F takes 3 months. So, this 12, I'm talking about the black 12 at 6, minus 3 is 9. So, we can afford to reach 4, event 4, we can afford to reach event 4 at the end of the ninth month and still reach event 6 at the end of the 12th month. Okay? Right. Now, if you go this way, let's take um, event 5. Now, event 6 we need to reach at the end of the 12th month. G takes 3 months. So, event 5, we can reach event 5 at the end of the ninth month. If we reach event 5 at the end of the ninth month, we will be able to reach event 6 at the end of the 12th month. Right. 